Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Fossil Runner Films here. Um, today, on the second episode, or the second tutorial video of Petite Computer, I am going to show you how to use buttons and how to make a program out of it. For instance, this is my jute box that I made using... Oh, one sec. Ugh. Oh, I thought I was going to see there. Um, I made out of all the things, all the music that they have on Petite Computer, or some of them. And basically all I have to do is press a button, so I'm going to press X for Cut and Crunch. And it plays the music. And if you press Start, all the music stops. I mean, it just depends on what you press, and something new comes up every time. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this program and come back to this. Now, I'm going to load something that I've made. It's uh, called Buttons. I'm just a simple Buttons. And this is all it is. It's, it's at start, like at loop, but just a different label. You cl it clears the whole page. Print button, parentheses, parentheses, wait one and go back to start. So I will show you how it is, I mean, and all you have to do is do this, I'll leave it up for a second. You could of course pause the video, but that's all really it is. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and click hit run. And as you can see, there's a zero. Um, that zero represents that there's no, there's no buttons that are being pressed right now. So I'm going to go ahead and press B. And that is a numeric code of B. Uh, R. 512. My L button doesn't work that well, so it will be it will be lucky if we can get any reaction to that, but I doubt it. So up is one, down is two, left is four, eight or right is eight, A is sixteen, B is uh, thirty two, Y is one hundred twenty eight, and X is sixty four. And then they also have start, and I'm not, I can't hit select because then it will shut down the program, but we can try it. See, all it says is break in four. So that's what all it is. Basically, print button, uh, it prints whatever button is being pressed, and that's it. It's just a simple program. So we're going to go ahead and erase all this and start a new program. Which will be kind of like the Hello or the Hello World, not the Hello World, but the uh, the program I used. But what is your name? So we're going to have um, something that says print. I'm going to have that. It's going to say press start and. That's all it's gonna say. Oh, sorry. I don't. I don't want that there because then that makes it I have a space in it. So it's going to have print, press, start. And I'm not a professional with Petite Computer yet, so I can't make it blink or anything. But you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm studying hard. So kids that are watching this, study and eat your vegetables. Just kidding. Or no, I'm not just kidding. But just kidding. Alright, and so what we're going to do is type in if. If basically is, you know, if this happens, and then this happens. So type in if, uh, beginning print, or beginning quotation? No, parentheses. Sorry. Beginning parentheses. Button. Parentheses, or. Dang it. Button. That, that. And, uh, 10, 24, oh, almost a second, I gotta do this, you gotta put something between it, so go ahead and do at, I'm just gonna do 1, 2, 3, and if, blah, 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 and that, then... Then go to at end. That's just what I'm going to call it. 
And then so we're going to say go to, I'm um, be below it, go to at one, two, wait, sorry, I messed that up. At one, two, three. And so we're going to go, at, here's at end, and it's going to, uh, we're going to say play, B, no, that doesn't work. Wait, no. Uh, B, M, G, play, twelve, no, eleven. And then we're going to go, set, we're going to say, but uh, that's going to be it. So it's going to hit run. It says press start. Oh, that's right. I wanted to beep. Never mind. I'm sorry. I always mess this up. I always forget they have to have something else. So I'm just going to say go beep six. Run. Over here, let me go ahead and clear the page first. Run. Press start. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And that's basically how you use buttons. Or at least how I use buttons. And that was a little long for just that. But really, that's all there is to it. That's all you really need to know. Um, then now you now we can actually start getting into game making. And uh actually, but first I'm going to show you how to make a calculator. Um I learned this from Aqua. I'll go ahead and put a link maybe to his channel in the next video and give him credit for all I learned, but sadly I can't learn how to divide or multiply or subtract. But thank you again, Aqua, for making a calculator. Alright, well that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!